This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. The Associated Press is reporting from the Rio Grande Valley. A man arrested on federal drug and immigration charges in South Texas is believed to be the nephew of the former boss of Mexico's Gulf Cartel and was a rising player in the drug trafficking network, a U.S. law enforcement official said Wednesday. Rafael Cardenas Vila was arrested last week following a traffic stop in Port Isabel, a Gulf Coast town that sits across the causeway from South Padre Island. He is charged with conspiracy to possess and distribute drugs and using a fraudulent passport, according to federal court records. ICE officials did not immediately return calls requesting comments Wednesday. A small twin-engine plane went down during a training flight near Hicks Airport in Fort Worth around 9.35 Wednesday morning. According to WFAA.com, the plane took off from Pro Aircraft Flight Training School with one instructor and two students on board. The two men and one woman on board were injured and alive when emergency teams arrived. Two care flight helicopters were called to the scene, transporting the victims to Fort Worth hospitals. No word on the condition. The plane crash-landed in an open field, and officials said it was barely recognizable when emergency crews arrived. Responders were surprised the victims got out at all. The investigation continues for not only the cause of the aircraft accident, but how they were all able to survive. Firefighters were also busy because of a small grass fire sparked from the crash. The Associated Press is reporting health officials have closed all oyster harvesting from Texas coastal waters due to the algae bloom known as red tide. The Department of State Health Services on Wednesday announced the ban on commercial and recreational harvesting of oysters, clams, and mussels. The agency is also advising people not to harvest and eat oysters, clams, or mussels from Texas coastal waters. The Bloom contains a toxin that can lead to shellfish poisoning in humans. Spokeswoman Christine Mann says there's no time frame for the harvesting closure as state officials monitor the red tide. The public can't normally harvest oysters from November through April. Experts say that red tide present along Texas since early September has killed at least 3 million fish. The algae thrives in warm, salty water. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.